On example 10, this is how I intro them into Orange Alert, one of my top five SAT strategies, right? So kids need to get out of the mindset of just solving for X and learning to solve for like a whole package because the SAT loves you to think in terms of a package rather than individual variables. So again, I'll let the kid kind of try this for a little while, see, see if they can figure it out. And um, eventually I'll say, hey, look, if there's ever a GCF in math, I can't help but pull it out. I can't help myself or dividing by it depending upon how you're taught. And for the most part, kids will be like, okay, well, the GCF is three, and I'll be like, all right, well, factor it out or divide by it. If we divide everything by three, we end up with X plus three Y equals three. And hopefully they, they see that the answer is three, but sometimes they still don't and they try and solve for one variable, but then be like, hey, well, stop. They asked for X plus three Y, right? Don't we know that it equals three? And then they'll be like, oh, okay, true. And that's when I lead into orange alert, right? If they ever ask for something oddly specific on the SAT, there's a speed trick, they're up to something. So one, you need to learn to think in terms of a package, but then also look for a speed trick, um, which we'll of course discuss with the students throughout because we're gonna see multiple examples of this um, on, on the SAT practice tests and worksheets that we do going forward.